good morning children how are you all i hope all are in good health so here in which lesson we are we are in air and water already we discussed about the land breeze and sea breeze already we have discussed and this uh, crossword puzzle you have to complete it here the hints are given for you you have to find it out and you have to write down this complete this uh, crossword puzzle okay here yeah, whatever is given here with pictures given for you hints are given by seeing these pictures you have to find out the names okay next card so now here already we have discussed about this experiment to observe that land gets heated up and cools down faster than water yes this is true land heats up faster and cools down also faster than water so what are the materials required for doing this experiment is cups you need two cups one cup contains water one cup with water and the other cup with sand other cup with sand keep these two cups under the sun keep these two cups under the sand and what you have to do is observe it put one hand in the water one finger in the water and one finger in the sand observe it which one will be hotter and which one is cooler so here when you keep the finger in the water you feel cool and when you keep it in the sand you feel hotter so now take out these cups take away the cups from the sunlight and keep it in the cool place and observe again you observe which one will be cooler faster which one will be still hotter so yeah, again you keep your fingers you feel that the sand will be cooler faster than the water isn't it so here what you understand by this is that the land will heat up faster and cools faster than water here experiment two also is given for you this also you have to find out to see what happens to hot air to see what happens to hot air take two glass bottles with hot water take two glass water bottles with hot water and normal water hot water as well as normal water hot water and normal water take two bottles with hot water and normal water and two balloons are required two balloons now take two balloons okay now what you have to do here is two glass bottles required two hot and hot water is required and normal water is required and two balloons are required for you now here what you have to do is fill the bottles fill the bottles with water hot water and normal water hot water as well as normal water fill the balloons fill the bottles okay now tie the balloons with these bottles tie the balloons open the keep open and and tie the balloons now what you will observe here hot air from the hot water rises up and inflates the balloon inflates the balloon means how the balloon shape will be this is the what you call it this is a bottle and the balloon will be inflated bigger in size how it happens hot water expands becomes lighter hot water becomes lighter than cool air isn't it that's why it expands and fills up in the balloon and fills up in the balloon isn't it so cool air there will be no change in the balloon shape isn't it now let's try you have to write the answer next come to water now we will start the water 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 now harsh was curious to know more about the water isn't it so prisha told her that three fourths of the earth surface is covered with water is true three fourths of the earth is covered with water only this three fourths 
of the artificial face is covered with water only. Three fourth of the earth surface is covered with water only. So most of the water is found in oceans and seas only. So what is the nature of this ocean water and sea water? It is salty. It is salty. Ocean and sea water is salty in nature. Only a small amount of earth is covered with fresh water. Drinking water isn't it so fresh water is very precious we have to conserve the fresh water we have to protect the water isn't it for future we use we should not waste the water it is a natural resource so he um, now what happens harsh was shocked to hear this are what three fourth of that surface is covered with the water but most of the water you find it in See, I notion that water is salty. There is no use of that water. Only one fourth of the water is there, which is a drinking water, isn't it? So we have to preserve the water. We have to conserve the water. Water is precious. So he promised Prisha that he would never waste water, isn't it? So here, write the names of the following water resources and tick the ones which are sources of fresh water. Here the pictures are given you. You have to write the sea is the given, well is given here. You have to write the sources of water. Which one is a fresh water? In this you have to write. So now next coming to water cycle. What is a water cycle? This lesson I will explain you in brief. Here water cycle. This is a sun. Seeing this, it is a sun, and here this is a water body, source of water. This is the water body which you are seeing here, isn't it? And here you are seeing evaporation is taking place due to heat of the sun. Water is evaporated from the water body. You are seeing this aroma. Water conversion of water into water vapor is called evaporation this water vapor what happens on cooling condensation this is what you call it condensation on cooling forms the clouds clouds are formed here yeah, you are seeing these clouds these are the clouds you are seeing so are uh, these clouds on further cooling what happens here yeah, you are seeing this Water transport, vapor transport. On further cooling of the water vapor, it gets into a veins. You get a veins. This is what you call it water cycle. This cycle will continue throughout. This cycle will continue. In some part, the water evaporation takes place. Water will be evaporated. Isn't it this water vapor? What happens? The evaporation of water into water vapor is called evaporation. Conversion of water into water vapor due to sun's heat is called evaporation. When the water is evaporated, what happens? Water vapor. That is called water vapor. The water vapor condenses, cools down and forms the clouds. Clouds further cooling gives us a rains. Rains. What do you call it? Rains. So, conversion of water vapor into water is called condensation. So, again the water is collected in the water bodies. Again evaporation followed by condensation. Again you are getting the rains. Again the water bodies will be filled with the water during rainy season. So, this process will be continuous. So, this, pro this is what you call it water cycle. Is it a continuous cycle in nature takes place? It changes from one state to another state of water. This is what you call it water cycle. So, here it is due to the water cycle that the clouds are formed and the clouds are cooled down, condensed. Again, you are getting the rains. Is it it? You are getting again rains. So, here evaporation. What is evaporation? Conversion of water into water vapor due to heat of the sun. 
is called evaporation. On what factors evaporation depends? This is very important. On what factors evaporation depends? That is what we call it. The temperature is high. The temperature is high. The temperature is high when the sun's heat is more. That is during summer season. During summer season the temperature is high and the evaporation also very fast. So the temperature, when the temperature is high, the exposed area is larger. Exposed area is larger. Exposed area is larger means when you are drying, when you are folding the clothes and drying means it will take more time. Isn't it? When you open the cloth and dry it in the sunlight, what happens? Immediately within a short period of time, the clothes will be dry. Isn't it? In the same way, in the water bodies also, when the exposed area is very small, the evaporation will be taking more time to evaporate water. So exposed area is larger. Next coming to the wind is blowing. The wind is blowing also. Blowing wind also helps in evaporation. Blowing wind also helps in evaporation. See when you dry the clothes in the windy area where when the wind is blowing, if you dry, what happens? It dry. The clothes will be dry. The, isn't it? The clothes will dry even in the windy time also. When the winds blows at that time also, your clothes will be dry and water evaporates. So, yeah. in the same way, when the wind blows from the surface of the water, the evaporation takes place from the water body. So, wind also is one of the reason for evaporation of water. Okay. Lastly, there is no moisture in the air. When the moisture is not there, the evaporation, there is no moisture in the air. There is no moisture in the air, the evaporation will be faster. In rainy season, cloudy season, cloudy day, rainy day, the evaporation will be very, 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 very slow. Why? Because moisture is more. Water vapor is more. Moisture is more in the air. So, the evaporation will be less. So, if when, the when the moisture is not there in the air, then the evaporation will be faster. That is, uh, when the cloud, in cloudy day, rainy day, the evaporation will be Slow, very slow. Thank you children. Have a nice day.